Welcome back to some more Paper Mario. So last time we explored the blue and green stations. By the way, I missed this last time, so that's why I'm back here. We're gonna be taking on the red station for today. And yeah, a lot of fun things happen. Of course, we met Gourmet Guy. We battled some decently difficult enemies. Because, yeah, I want Mario to fight them all the in the prologue. Or well, prologue into the dummy. So yeah. We're back in the red station now. I'm pretty sure I already got the star piece here. You can always see the truck. There we go. Alright. That's all the star piece, I believe. But yeah, there's still quite a lot of things we can do in the toy box, though. So yeah. But you'll see in a bit. Anyway. I think I want Paracory. I feel like I need Paracory, I mean. I mean, there's gonna be some enemies down here, too. So yeah. I'm putting in some Pyro guides. So yeah. We have the combo, obviously, so yeah, this is the time to use it, because pirate guys do kind of hurt, so yeah. With, and yeah, I don't have ice bar. I decided to put it, it, so yeah. And there we go, and now a nice power shell to take them out. There you go, again, this is, it's very nice to have these little power pluses just for a situation like that. There you go. Too bad about the FP, because they're gonna probably want FP. Again, that's why I get the finder. Anyway. So yeah, what are we gonna do today? Alright, so like I said, I think we're gonna be doing some, like... We're gonna be doing some business the Red Station. And of course, the boss is also gonna be here too. But we're gonna worry about the next part. There's, I believe, a coin block here, but yeah, if you're gonna get this, you're gonna need to be a bit smart. I think. I guess I was slightly smart there. So there you go. Um... Oh, I got down here. I spy a potential hidden block, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, once again, let's do a combo, because again, they're throwing up all the annoying um, shy guys here, yeah. I think, yeah, shy guys definitely do seem like kind of an annoying enemy type in this game, so yeah, there is that. So there we go. Done and dusted. But yeah, other than that though, yeah, again, they're not the... They don't have the best bulk in the world, that's okay. Anyway, that's actually a badge. Deep focus, another one. And they do stack, I believe, so yeah, you can get back a lot of star power. So if you are going to be using a build centered around Star Storm or any other, like, star power potentially, then yeah. Probably want a lot of deep focus, and probably group focus too, which allows the part of the tools to focus. Anyway, we have another. Super block problem is we still can't use it because we still don't have another fine I don't think that'll change soon. But anyway, we are done here now, so we should prepare because yeah, we got a fight on our hands coming up, so yeah. Alright, so yeah, what do we want? So yeah, I don't think Quake's gonna do much. And these badges, so I wanna go jump charge, power bounce. Uh, what else would be kind of nice in this? Probably, yeah, HP plus, maybe. Just in case. Um, let me see what else I have. I've also got Mega Rush, which could be fun. Um, potentially. <laughs> it's a little bit risky, though, obviously. But yeah, I think I'm going to play it safe and get the HP plus, and maybe a deep focus. Of course, because I did that, I probably should heal. Well, what do I have? For that, um, I guess this. There you go, perfect. Alright, so we're gonna go on with this. And once again, I my combo for today is gonna be jump charge and power bounce. So we're gonna see if we can get some use of that. Wee hee hee hee, someone has come. Someone is here in the dark. Wee hee hee hee! Oh, could it be? Wee hee hee hee! It's Mario! It looks like you're mine, Mario! Wee hee hee! I won't let you go anywhere! Wee hee hee hee! I'll take care of you quickly to return to my darkness! I hate the light! So I'll take you with me to the deep dark. Alright, so the problem is we actually can't tell, so. We're gonna need to do something about that. I believe what we actually want to do is power bounce. Actually, we don't need to. 
I'm just doing it just in case. So there you go. Now we can tell him. Big Lantern Ghost. This is a Big Lantern Ghost. He avoids attacks behind the dark. 45 0. Your friends like M. Me will also be down if he does the flash attack. The flash attack's powers too. Hit the lantern many times to make it brighter, then you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see him right in there. So what we need to do here is we need to hit that lantern multiple times. Ow, that light, it's so bright. This is so good. Here, dark and darker. People starting to sound like fame, eh? If we're gonna get past this fight, we're gonna need the the yeah, I'm gonna try to say that. We need those help basically, is what I was trying to say that. Because I see that her attack is perfect for brightening things up. So anyway, let's try some jump charges now. And that's the um, flashlight attack. Luckily though I got it, so that's good. Let's go for another charge. I want to go for a nice big power bounce, I think. And yeah, I think we should do this. Say so once again, <laughs> better be good that Ash, come on. I don't know if Gabari is good enough, but he might be for the Lantern. But of course, the best person is Bo. Because her attack just, you know, does this. <laughs> How nice. Anyway, eh, one more. I think now we'll attack him. This is jump attack. And yeah, that's both his attacks, I believe. Now let's do some punishment. There we go, very nice. <laughs> That's why Power Bounce and Trump Shots are pretty cool together. No! Hey, I can't actually switch Pi members. What's Gabara say? Say, this is the lantern that wants the big lantern goes. There's something inside. Do you think it'd come out if he broke it? Does he have anything about this room? Uh, I do believe it's dark. Isn't that a light switch in this place? I can't see anything at all. Alright, let's pop that. I missed that, and what? Can I um, get out of here? And yeah, that's all you gotta say. Let's break the lantern, and free the person inside. <laughs> Yay, I got out! Yay for me! Thanks, mister! Hey, aren't you a Mario? You just saved me like a hero. You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest. You saved me from the mean guy who laughed like wee hee hee hee. I gotta make it up to you. I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the um, shy guy saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser. You're, su you're super great. You're the greatest great guy. I think you're the best. So, um, I really wanna help. I'll be good, really. What joined your party? Press C down to have her eliminate the area around you. Yeah, she's a girl. <laughs> With her light, you can see invisible watts too. While in power, she could shock enemies with electric dash, or paralyze them with power shock. How many use that ability? Oh, it's pretty dark, huh? I kinda like the dark. Uh, but um, now, now I can show you how helpful I can be, okay? Use my power, okay? And yeah, she has the power of TM70 Flash. <laughs> Wow, pretty cool, huh? Look, it's so bright now, tee -hee. I bet nobody else can help out like that, huh? Can they? Nope, now let's go. <laughs> yeah, I like what. I think what is like my favorite party member, at least one of them. Because yeah, in battle, I love using what. And yeah, that's how we're gonna see her knives. Yeah, what can illuminate them for us. So yeah, of course, you can also just look up what the hidden blocks are, but of course, what can help them. So anyway. What does 3 damage normally, but that's about to change because, yeah, we're going to be getting, um, the upgrade <laughs> already. How convenient. And, yeah, this makes what even cooler because they get turbocharged and creates Mario's tap power because, you know, <laughs> what is actually very versatile, as I'm going to show. There you go. Super rank what? So yeah, what else can we find? I have already found some of the hidden items, but yeah, not all of them, so yeah. But yeah, this thing, this ability, it's not like the most amazing thing in the world, but hey, it's nice. Being able to see hidden blocks is a lot of the time going to be a little bit useful, so yeah. There's a fortune. I'm not really a big fan of that though. But yeah, probably what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to store some items, but that's okay. We got Super Shroom, that's really cool. 
and no more headlines. So let's say, uh, I think I'm going to go back to the... Actually, you can go here if you want to go back to Blue Station. Because, yeah, I think I'm going to deposit the snowman doll at least. I think the super shrimp too. They're going to probably be cooking the super shrimp, so yeah, I probably should, you know, do that. And I think I'm also going to store the, um... I think I'm also going to sell the vulture, I mean. I think a little trap probably will be pull down that lever. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Hmm. To pull or not to pull? Well, I think it's... If you're playing a video game, I think you should just try, you know, stuff. <laughs> And there you go, now we have a full circle through Shy Guy's Toy Box. That's awesome. So now, yeah, I think we just talked to you again. Well, I'll be just as I suspected. We should have to move that level a long time ago. And we're gonna have a nice short um, trip back. There you go. Alright, like I said, let's deposit some items because, yeah, we probably should. And also get a bad stuff back. And yeah, at some point, we should also try showing off, um, what, say, uh... So anyway, let's get back our good old Quake, because it's been doing very well for us, obviously. Um... Only have P+. So now, I mean, Flower Finder, Speedsman, and Dizzy Tech. There you go. Back in business. So now... Once again, we have some Hinaris to locate, but before we do that, let's, again, store some items, because, yeah, we're going to be getting tons of items, so, yeah, obviously makes a lot of sense. I also want to get into at least one battle, so then we can start talking about what what is all about, so, yeah, and I'll tell you why I liked what so much. So we'll sell the Vault Shroom, I don't want to sell anything else, I want to see if I can store more items. So, yeah, let's check the six space. Oh, I saw the Super Shroom, I'm an idiot, so, yeah. Ah, well. We can buy them here, so it's not like the world, so yeah. It just means more iron space at the storage, so yeah. But yeah, that's why I got the more pink attention. Keep everything else, though. So anyway, I want to save my stomach dolls. They're pretty good in chapter 5, that's the main reason why, so yeah. Alright, let's hope we can get most of the other items. Like I said, we'll get into a battle so we can talk about what's so cool about what. Probably gonna be a lot of what puns. <laughs> like the what archetype in Yu Gi Oh! anyway. Let's bow one enemy and let's talk. So, yeah, we can do. We can take out these guys no problem. I think maybe I should have shown off their status attack first. I guess I could do that now. That is power shot. Actually, no, I could do it now. If it works, paralyze an enemy and let's shot. Yeah, there's a single target and it's pressing repeatedly. So yeah, <laughs> think of Pokemon moves, yeah, what also has Wonder Waves, so yeah. It's not bad, again, it's another attack that just stops him in place. I'm pretty sure there's like four of them, <laughs> or stars, which should be saying, like stop, sleep, dizzy, and now paralysis, so yeah. I shot there the main reason why I like what so much, Electro Dash, penetrate defense power, and attack enemy electricity. And that's its action one, a very simple one. There you go. And why not? We're gonna show off the last attack, Turbo Charge. Which, as it says that, literally boosts Mario's attack power for a short time. There you go. Now Mario has a plus one attack boost for four turns. How nice is that? So there you go. That's all of what's abilities in one battle. It seems like the Shy Guys really hate the Electro Shock, so yeah. So yeah, what? What is amazing? So yeah, the thing about what is that, again, they're so consistent, that's what makes them so good, so yeah. Um, but yeah, of course, in this area, I wouldn't say they're the best, because the thing about what is, what becomes better the higher the defense of the enemy, obviously, because of their regular attack. Of course, the other base aren't too bad either, but yeah. Like, Electroshock, of course, if you know the enemy is a subtle paralysis, it's amazing, but yeah. Sometimes, it's not gonna always work, so yeah. So there is that. I do know some enemies that really don't like us, so yeah, we'll deal with those. But anyway, I should be using C down here, because again, okay, we're going to be looking for him blocks, so yeah. Like, one over here. Maple syrup. There's also one here as well, so yeah, let's go get that. I probably should also do a once-over of the hidden blocks, so I know where we're going, so we can save a little bit of time, so yeah. Stone cap. So yeah, if you don't want to buy a stone cap, there it is. 
or anti die because again it's a pretty good one. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. So yeah, what? I think yeah, what is just you know such a nice go-to character to use because again they have um again they're just you know so reliable, so easy to use, and of course being good against high defense enemies is always very nice because those are kind of annoying. So yeah, let me think. Eh, we could just you know take out two of them this turn. I didn't mean to kill these guys, but okay. that's what I get for going out there. I accident, by the one. So there you go. I also just like the normal attack as well. It's really fun to use. Anyway, there you go. I don't know. It's probably just because, again, the sound effect is just really nice sounding, so yeah. Anyway, there you go. Maya. Again, like I keep saying, yeah, what? Not only is one of them just easy to use, I wouldn't say first time, I'm not so sure. First time maybe, because again, they have paralysis, or they have a stop attack basically, and then yeah, they can boost Mario's attack, and of course, she also can, you know, pierce enemy punch. A fright char, and a mystery. We can cook the mystery, so yeah, maybe we should do that at some point. I don't really care about the fright char, so yeah, I could use it here if I really want. So yeah, let's do that. I don't know if I've shown the fright char yet. Go and yeah, it actually went pretty good. So now we just do this. But yeah, what is kind of interesting though, because they're they're a sparky, I believe, all little sparky on those two things. Um, yeah, <laughs> you don't really see those often. And in fact, yeah, there aren't any little sparkies in this game of the what. So yeah, so there is that. Yeah, what's kind of a strange character because of that? But hey, again, very consistent damage up. With a pretty easy Ash Pond too, so yeah, <laughs> I always quite like that. I believe now what we want to do is we want to go to Pink Station. I think they've already got the hidden items here, but I'll show them just in case. You didn't watch the <laughs> last couple of parts, so yeah. So again, like I keep saying, yeah, what? Very consistent, and also just has some really neat support abilities too. So yeah, they were definitely my go-to partner for a lot of gameplay in this game, so yeah. And yeah, especially because, yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of Bo, who's also, like, a fan favorite. I'm not so sure what's a fan favorite. It wouldn't surprise me if they were. Because, again, I quite like them. I just think that they're really simple to use. There is, like, also another strategy, too. It's a bit of a... What is also kind of involved in our strategy, but anyway. Over there, there's a Super Soda. And I believe... Yeah, one of those is a Dizzy Doll, I believe. So let me, um, just double check. I believe we are actually going towards a hidden line, so yeah. Maybe actually that this devil's in this room. Oh well. <laughs> you probably want to look at my last couple of parts. Or last part, I should be saying, because yeah, we were here last part, weren't we? So yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely a little bit over the basement commentary, but that's okay. I just want to make sure I get all these hidden items. There's not a funny thing of what. If you don't do the Ashcon well, <laughs> you can actually. It's kind of sort of the bow. Although there is a reason to do it, I guess you could say. Like if you just, you know, I don't know, just press A once, I think. Then what does the, what only does one damage, but it's a very quick attack. So yeah, if you want to, you know, save a little bit of time in your speedrun or something, I guess you can do that anyway. You are working towards it now. I would like, so yeah. Okay, power guy will get past you. I don't think what could attack those. Because they do make contact with Electro Dash, as the name suggests. There's a Thunder Rage. Probably gonna save that for the boss yet again. I like seeing my Thunder Rage as all that, I guess, so yeah. Anyway, once again, we want Koops. Cooper, I mean. <laughs> once again, Quake confused the part two. Let's just do Quake and Power Shell once again. Because again, we don't have Ice Path, which would be quite nice, but yeah, again, it is only two, so you can definitely use it if you want. They are. Uh, to be honest, yeah, Fire Enemies in general aren't super con. There's one or the ice part I think is required basically, but I mean two, to be honest. Even though, yeah, the first area that comes to mind, well, the first area they're gonna come across is actually only one Fire Enemy, I believe, but they're quite common. And then the next area, it's all Fire Enemies, so yeah. You don't want Ice Power for that then, so yeah. I guess we're just gonna fight everything, it seems, so yeah. <laughs> oh well. Maybe we can get close to a level up before the fight, and then, yeah, once we do the fight, we might actually level up, so that's good. And once again, we're probably just going to get more FP, so I can use more FP attacks. 
that simple. Because I think we are going to get to the point where, yeah, we're going to have more expensive FP attacks. So, yeah. And, yeah, Flower Finder may not be, you know, enough, basically. So, yeah. There's the Kamakai coming up. Oh, <laughs> is it Kamakai? No, it isn't. Uh, Spy Guy. Will he be part of... I think there's a spy archetype in um, Yugo as well. I forget what it was called, but anyway. Um, I feel like... I remember that the Link monster was called, like, Double Helix or something like that? But anyway, I know that archetype, I think, is based on Chain Spot. But of course, these guys just have, like, army camouflage, so yeah. It's kind of a weird name. Like, Camo Guy, I feel like, makes more sense, which is why I keep saying it, so yeah. There we go. Yeah, spy ammo. <laughs> The anti guy looks more like a spite to me, I guess, but anyway. Ah, well. <laughs> I guess the idea is that they're, like, sly? I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing, to be honest. I don't know why I'm picking about now, but anyway. Okay, we're just looking for him now, so I guess that's the main reason why. Anyway, Green Station has... Uh, it has two kind of diamonds, I believe, so yeah. Actually, no, it has one. Just one. And we might use it at some point. Actually, maybe not, because it's actually not too useful. To me, at least. It might be useful to you, though. It's around here. Look at all the firefire. So, let's have a look. So, yeah, I'm probably near Storm's Mimes, and again, I think the firefire is the weakest thing, unfortunately. Is again, I have Quake. <laughs> That's the main reason why it's the weakest thing. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to backtrack again, but it's okay, because we have the lines. But having a look at what we have left. We're actually good, so yeah. We are good to go now, so yeah, all I need to do is just, you know, stall whatever I feel like, and then, yeah, we're gonna go after... We're gonna go towards the boss. I don't think we're gonna be taking on the boss in this part, save the next part. So... There we go. Alright, one thing we can do, though, is we can cook the mystery and see what we get. Hopefully it's something good. <laughs> yeah. It would be nice to get, like, a cooking item early, obviously. Earlier than I'm going to be able to, so yeah. Here you go. And I don't want to cook anything else. Um, make with one. There you go. Of course, I'm going to be cooking with two later. Oh, well, so it looks like Mario and Watt have fused together, so that's probably the thing. And we get, oh, a potato salad. You can't get that for a while, I'm pretty sure. It's a 10 HP heal though, so yeah. <laughs> I think I should store that, because I think it cooks other things for me, so um, yeah, that's actually really convenient. So yeah, I got what I wanted. That's awesome. The stone cap, I'm not so sure. I think I'm just going to keep it around, because um, yeah, it's kind of good. We could use the boss fight too, but I guess we'll see. Let's store that potato salad. You know, I could sell it, because, I mean, yeah, why not? I used one, I don't think I need another stone cap, so yeah, they're powerful items, though. So, yeah, let's do that. It's just that, yeah, again, I feel confident in just, you know, being <laughs> being the enemy's up, so yeah. <laughs> Even without Mario being unprotected, so yeah, again, I don't think we need um, the stone caps too much. And if I really want to protect myself, we're gonna stop on repel shots, so yeah, I think we'll be fine. So anyway, okay, we're done with Hidden Items because, yeah, we got some Hidden Items in the Red Station thanks to what already, so yeah. And yeah, maybe after, maybe while we're doing side quests, I could look for some other hidden blocks, that could be fun. And then, yeah, of course, what can help us locate them, so yeah. Alright, let's take on the rest of Red Station now. I'll have a look on the health. Yeah, I guess we get some feedback. <laughs> Alright. And maybe we'll see what more in action. Alright, so of course that should be pretty obvious what we need to do here. We need to use Bomb Bear. There we go. <laughs> I think this is one of my favorite parts of the chapter just because you get to see the shy guys doing some fun stuff, I guess. Like that. <laughs> We well, have a string start there, but of course, how are we going to locate that? Well, yeah, once again, what is going to help us with that? We want to get this. There you go. Now we want to spin jump up. Yeah, again, what's a birdie is technically just, you know... I mean, yeah, it doesn't do much, but hey. Like, 
Like, yeah, you're not. It doesn't really help you explore to me, is it? Because unlike all the Pokemon games, I guess you could say, there aren't too many areas that are older. <laughs> you can't dash while you're holding what, so yeah, you gotta be careful that. All right, so this is the big bash. So again, I recommend using Star Stomp here. Although at the same time, I could say Star Stomp on Spain a lot. Nah, let's just use it. <laughs> this is a pretty troublesome group of enemies. So yeah, I mean, not really. Again, I could just use um the combo once again. But yeah, oh, there we go. That's the end of that. Uh, of course, I'm probably going to be going back and saving because, again, this will be the last thing we do in this part. Ooh, a CB Sheep. That's not too bad. I have both a Dizzy Bell and a CB Sheep, so we're going to probably just knock some enemies out of the bush for a little bit. So anyway, yeah, that's really it for Red Station. Yeah, not too much. Just, you know, the big Lantern Ghost and what, and a couple of Hidden Nines to get with one. So yeah, and yeah, that'll be it. So yeah, uh, once again, another short part, but I do think, yeah, we might be a while, little while with the boss, and also we have a decently long interlude of that as well, so I think I'm gonna save both of those for the next part, so yeah. But yeah, we got what, I thought about why I like what so much again, very consistent fly member with their regular attack, and of course, pretty good at boss fights because of um, power charge, or turbo charge, I mean, so yeah. Yeah, it's basically just tarot cards from Mario, <laughs> I guess you could say, yeah, what has all the, um, or, I don't know, what move would it be in Pokemon? Hal, maybe? Because Hal boosts ally attack, I think, now, doesn't it? So, <laughs> because, yeah. I'm making all the Pokemon move references now, aren't I? So, yeah. <laughs> but there you go. I like the Tarot Kodrick stuff on Waldo, but anyway. Because that's definitely what it feels like. Although, it is the Persona version of Tarot Kodrick, where it doesn't last forever, but hey, it is what it is. Oh well. Anyway, enough of this weird stuff, but yeah, like I said, I love Watt so much. We're going to be seeing Watt a lot, and doing some important things too. Mainly against high defense enemies, because, of course, you have both of the low defense ones, or Gumbario, and then you've got Watt for the high defense ones. So yeah, they can't couple on each other when you think about it like that. So yeah. Alright. But yeah, next time though, we're going to be taking on the man behind all the troubles that have been happening in Toad Town, and maybe the Toy Box too. So yeah. So yeah, we're going to be seeing who the mastermind behind all this, other than, you know, Bowser, but yeah. <laughs> so, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for that.